What's going on fam, GameSpot here, back with another Call of Duty mobile video. In this video, I'm going to share detailed intel related to Season 7 Battle Pass, I mean all of the weapon blueprints and character's name. Season 7 is looking good so far and we finally got official Season 7 teaser, so in this video we are going to have a detailed look on it. So if you are new to this channel, drop a like and please subscribe, we are really close to 50,000 subscribers. Without any further ado, let's go. So trust me, I'm going to watch this trailer for the first time and I'm going to react it at the same time. So okay. Okay, she's Urban Tracker default version and uh, alright, this is the new Battle Royale vehicle that I was talking about in my previous video. Okay, three characters popped up but who's the first one? Alright, this is possibly the Battle Pass weapon blueprint I guess of HS Shotgun and here is Mokoto holding Mythic Switchblade. So this was the Season 7 official trailer. Okay, so after doing some research, according to data miners, season 7 is not only limited to two characters, they are going to add more collaboration characters under this collaboration. And this character is one of them. According to data miners, he appeared in the trailer, but that doesn't mean that he would appear in the actual game as well. Because the possibilities are low, they are not giving any confirmation about this character right now. You might be wondering which are the first two collaboration characters. The first is Motoko, she's female character, and second is Batao. Well, pardon me if I'm pronouncing the names wrong. Now it's time to explain you a little bit about next season's battle pass rewards and overview. This season free battle pass content includes new claw operator skill at tier 14. At tier 21 unlock the new switchblade x9 smg and at tier 50 unlock arcane slayer calling card which is going to be legendary calling card. Ok now let's talk about premium pass tiers. Purchase battle pass for the chance to earn all of the characters available in the new vision city including ghost in the shell inspired operator skin like blackjack elite, striker interface and battery eve 3. And the ultimate prize of this battle pass is Motoko herself, the new female character of this collaboration. And the weapon blueprints are of Kilo, Arctic, Shorty and new Switchblade X9 on tier 50. This is the entire look of Motoko character and season 7 lobby view. Cod Mobile is going to add two Motoko character skin variants. The left hand side is going to be the part of Battle Pass and at the right the skin variant of Motoko is going to be the part of Lucky Draw. And if you look closely the Lucky Draw version of Motoko is equipped with premium outfit and sunglasses. Well for now these are the only two characters of collaboration which are teased by COD Mobile officially through their teaser images and still there are possibilities of third character to become in the game officially. Here is the side by side comparison of Battle Pass Motoko and Lucky Draw variant Motoko but personally I like the Battle Pass Motoko more than the Lucky Draw one. Which one is looking better according to you do let me know in the comments down below. If you didn't notice let me tell you in season 7 trailer this weird looking creature was spotted and according to some people they said it can be zombies mode hint but these are the new PVE enemies of new vision city. New AI robots and mechanical dogs have infiltrated isolated challenging players to PVE combat. That's interesting but yes we are also going to get zombies mode the OG one as well in season 7. And at last Kayubi Kitsune skin is also coming in season 7. That's a wrap to this video guys I hope you enjoyed drop a like and do let me know what do you think about season 7 battle pass and share this video definitely with your cord mobile friends. I will see you in the next video till then take care peace.